You want to be here 100%, You're not casting lines out to the past, to the future, to this person here, that person there. You're going to have time for yourself to be right here. At the same time, we should respect one another's time to be by themselves right here. We have that chant about having respect for concentration. It means having respect for your own concentration and respect for others. In terms of your own concentration right now, you want to be 100% here. All the different voices in the mind should be on board with the fact that you're going to stay here. The ones who don't like to meditate, you can assure them that you're going to be sitting here with your eyes closed only for five minutes, ten minutes. It's not too long. And then you can make the breath comfortable, so you can win some of those voices over. The more it feels good to be here, the more members of the Minds Committee will want to stay. So give it your full attention, because that's how the breath gets more comfortable. It's coming in and going out all the time. But it gets uncomfortable because we're not paying attention to it. So the more fully you're here with the body, from your head down to your toes, head down to the shoulders, down to the tips of the fingers, all around the body. And the more the different breath energies in the body will be able to work together. They'll have to work together because you see them. You're paying attention. So pay 100% attention to what you're doing right here, right now. And then, of course, make that a policy as you go through the day. Be with the body as much as you can. Whatever activities you have to do, have to go through the breath. Just think about the breath as you're sweeping up, as you're working in the kitchen, as you're cleaning up. Whatever the job may be, it has to go through the breath. So keep the breath in mind as you're moving around. As John Fu used to say, make your practice timeless. We tend to divide our days up into times. Time to eat, time to talk, time to whatever. But you should try to make all those times times to practice. Then the eating and the talking become side, side issues. The main issue is making sure that your mind stays in place. Because if it's jumping around like this, no wonder it's going to be a victim of the world. But when you're really solidly here and solidly paying full attention to what you're doing, the world doesn't have a chance to sip, slip in. You're aware of it, you know about it, but as the Buddha would say, it doesn't invade the mind or remain. So if you see thoughts invading the mind or remaining, you realize you haven't been paying full attention. So give the breath the full attention that it deserves, because it's basically a reflection of the mind, because the mind really deserves your full attention. Don't abandon it.